Gallinari trying to get around the screen. Looks up, seven seconds on the shot clock. Gallinari by pass, and he rams it home. Well, he, he, you know, he lost control in the corner, brought it. Last year at 35, averaging, uh, or he averaged 19 and a half points per game. Iguodala over to Gallinari. First three balls on the way, yes, and a foul. Pierce, call for the infraction. Now Gallo with the drive dunk, missed the shot, and then Pierce runs to him on the three. Was it some acting? Good ball movement inside. You see when a defender goes down and opens the middle, Pierce kind of runs by him and grabs him with that right hand. Now Gallinari to the line where he shoots. 81 and a half. The BBVA Rising Stars Challenge. He scored 40 at 10 rebounds. Gallinari in the lane. You miss Gallinari for the second half of that Toronto game. Or Swings it back into Brandon Bass. And the Celtics with a five-point lead. Throw it away. Iguodala's got it. There goes Gallo. A little defensive pressure. Get Bass, the guy that you want to hold the ball, bring it up. He gets under pressure, throws it away. Doc Rivers wants time out, perhaps to talk about how to defend. Danilo Gallinari, who already has nine points. Nuggets at their best when they're turning over teams. And they lead it, they trail it, I should say, 14 to 11. Reed is sitting on the bench. Seven on the shot clock. Over to Gallo. McGee, and McGee flushes. First bucket for JaVale McGee. First half, three and a half minutes to go. Gallinari posted up against a tough little defender, Avery Bradley. Five on the clock. Gallinari breaks through and is fouled. Gallinari really not a post player, as you saw. Call Gallo to the line. Gallinari's 10th point so far as we take a look at our Ford shot. Having a solid game. One rebound, three assists. Good to have Gallo. Defense by Avery Bradley cutting off Lawson. Five on the clock. Gallinari's going to shoot a three. Nope, instead, dribble drive. And Pierce called for the foul. 1960. That's Bob Pettit. That they went to Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Gallinari. And a blistering second quarter. 